I'm writing this to you from a position of hope. I'm aware that as I speak these words, I may be filled with sadness. I may be filled with despair. I almost certainly will be filled with a sense of confusion about the state of our world, but as I write them, I am filled with hope. And so I'd like to take a second to describe to you my location such that we might position ourselves back into this mind frame when we need it the most. I'm walking along the beach and the waves are crashing at my horizon. The sand sinks slightly beneath every step and the sky is blue. So blue. So blue that I wonder if I've ever seen the colour before and I find myself checking to see that my glasses are on. But yes, they are on and as usual, so smudged that I'm surprised I can actually see. But they are on and the waves are crashing and the sand is sinking and the sky is blue and I am filled with hope. And I'm also filled with a sense of love for our country. But with this comes some confusion. Dear Miss Abbott, I mean, Mr Turnbull, I mean... Maybe I should just leave this space blank. Dear politician, I've decided not to hate you because hate only destroys the hater, but I do have a couple of questions. When the sea levels start to rise and we're running out of time, <laughs> and your family's on a boat, can we send it back? But of course we'll take the women and children because they're the most in need. It looks like for once in your life, being a white privileged male isn't working in your favor. And I can't talk because I am a white privileged female whose education was given to her on a silver platter and I'm only just now learning to deal with the black dog that comes with that privilege. So my question for you is this, how the fuck do you get yours to sleep at night? And where might I learn some of those skills? Because I think I could really use them and I also know of thousands of people stuck on islands up north that could use them even more. I'm confused. I look around me and I see so much good and then I turn on the news and I can't move. And I'm confused about the balance between helping and living my life. And I'm stuck here dealing with my hero, hero complex. And in the meantime, I'm drinking beer with beautiful people. And I don't want to stop doing this. And I don't want to stop walking along this beach. I want to share it. I walked along a beach today for kilometers and I didn't see a single person. So don't tell me that we don't have space. And I walked along a beach today for kilometres and all I saw were two red cups and a crushed beer can. So don't tell me that we, this is our place because we are not treating it as such. But I walked along a beach today for kilometres and the waves were crashing, the sand was sinking, the sky was blue and I was filled with hope. And I look at you and whether you see it or not, I see good. And whether you feel it or not, I feel hope. And I'm aware that as I grab this mallet and I run down the narrow, structured hallways of society's mind, screaming that there's hope, I may seem crazy. And yes, I am crazy. And yes, I do have a black dog. But I'm also filled with hope. And so I'm asking you to look inside yourself and see what I see. And to bring that hope and walk along this beach with me. And to invite anyone who might bring more hope with them. Because we have space, and this can be our place, and we can fill it with hope.